Hello, space friend. Today we will be making more rat art for Rattober. I've already got my basic sketch down, but we'll start with the more detailed sketch and then color it. And maybe I'll even be able to start a second piece. So let's get started. Let me get some music in. And we'll get into it. So today's prompt was kissing rat. There so were drawing clover and the as of yet named uh, long tooth vanguard member. I need to turn down this first layer. Get in Clover's spot here. Her fluffy chin. That back here is brown. This one over here is white. So I'm just kind of mapping out where her patterning is. Get her fluffy chest. Her leaf. But I think I need to change that. She is bent inward like this way. Let me make a new thing here. Accidentally turned down the opacity there. So her body is more like this. I'm going to turn that down. So we would just barely see that leaf then. And we need to um, modify her chest hairs to follow the curve of her body better. And 
then we'll get the grass skirt in here. Erase out her body. Get a vague sense of the pattern here. Then her tail. And I need to get her headband in. general placement of the clovers. Okay, and then we'll start with our next one. She's gonna be like kissing his cheek, so... Maybe more like here. I kind of give embarrassed ears. And then he's got a sleek design. like this. leaf would come around about here and then we'll get in the grass skirting again here And I forgot he is wearing his helmet in this photo, so let's bring this back a little. Get the walnut in here. Gonna edit this into a better shape. This part of the walnut. I'm 
and I need to modify the shape of this ear now. Get in his string here. Need to probably extend this ear out a little more. His tail under clover. And then his sword is on this side. Let's get a hint of a hand over here. So his sword will be on this side. Let's get in the hilt and the blade. It's not quite the right angle because it goes around and connects to his other shoulder so this would probably be better This sketch doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to stick around. But we do want a good idea of where everything is. And the proportions are a little walk, so I'm going to do some adjustments. His head is really large compared to his body. I think this is better. Yeah, much better. Yep. Yeah, let's get under to the clover layer. I'm gonna race back certain parts. From here, I'm gonna raise his arm line here. And then we can merge these two. Yeah, we can merge all these. shape for this log.
Okay, that's fine. And then let's get in the apple core from yesterday's drawing. Maybe something more like this. Give me a second, guys. make sure my friend was okay. I just realized you guys can't really see me moving. Here we go. I'm alive! No more dead stare into your soul. Aren't you so lucky? Just gonna get out this apple core. Kind of get the places where the seed pits would be. There we go. And I think that's it. Let's get rid of this and merge these down. I'm going to fix this arm over here real quick. Bring it more down here like it was. Okay. So now we can get into the painting. I see. I'll get a kind of light green color for the uh, grass kind of layer over here. And it was getting to be nighttime, so we're going to get darkish blue, kind of desaturated. Uh, not quite that dark. Let's lighten it up. Much better. And then we'll just go down the palette line. Uh, I'm going to turn down my brush here a little bit. This is Clover's brown coat color. Uh, we'll do grass skirts in a minute. Let's go ahead and do this uh, rat's color. And he's mostly black, with the exception of some white. Let's go ahead and grab the white and get those painted in where they would go. I don't worry about placement right now. I'm just getting the colors in where they roughly should be. Okay, let's do the skirt. And 
And the sword sheath and band are the same color, so I do them on a separate layer so I can shade them separately to give them their shape. Then we'll get the leaf color. I need to come back down here and we'll get our pink layer for the uh, pink bits of a rat. put anything on this layer. No, I just kind of created it and left it blank. So let's see. This is the tooth color. So I'm just going to come down here with a smaller, smaller size brush and get his tooth in. His two front teeth. And then we've got the walnut color. That also is the color of the hill. And then this log was a very dark color. just get that in for where that log is. I think that's all the colors. So now we'll go in with our eraser and erase them out. Now let me increase the size of this eraser. I think a little more. I'm just going to generally follow this shape. Doesn't have to be exact. And I'll select it with automatic. Looks like there are a couple of places where I didn't quite erase it all the way through. So we'll just go in and fix that. And then we'll invert it and clear the excess. I think I'm going to undo that. I didn't particularly care for that line. to turn down this selection path a little I think is the problem. Yeah it is. There we go. We'll clear out the extra there. And then uh, now I'm going to turn off everything except the 
layer I'm working with. If I can see it better. And we're going to turn down the sketch layer. I also need to turn down our eraser brush. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn off the dark layer just so I can see a little better. Extended with that line a little. I like that line. Please bring her back. Come back here and with my brush I'm going to fix some of these places where I messed up. to extend out that color there kind of fix over here on the shoulder
I'm gonna turn up my sketch layer for a second. So I can see where this leg is cut out. And this arm. Okay, that looks like everything went well. Let's move on to our whites. I'm going to take a moment to do a stretch. Make sure you stretch, friends. Here we go. to probably turn my eraser up a little more. I need to come in here and add to this area. nozzles are white so we can leave those connected Got a little white mitten here at the end. I need to clear it up in this section here. I forgot to finish off my shape here. And then we'll come over to our pinks. I have noticed I've gotten faster at this. So I've done a rat every day for Rattober, or I should say a rat picture every day for Rattober. I've done so many rats. So I have gotten a little faster at the process. I've created a bunch of brushes to aid me in the style I'm going for. 
And I've been messing around with paper textures lately as well. So it's been a great learning experience. too much back of that. No, I, I wanted to keep that. Thank you. too much of that. Alright, I think we should be good here. Allied! I need to clear this. I forgot his nose. I switch to the brush. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the eraser. I need to come and fix this corner. To turn off the grass skirts so I can see this better. I didn't want to erase back these straps. I'm gonna have to go in here and fix where I cut them off.
And now we're into the leaves. I'll need to lower my eraser size to get into here properly. Okay. I just realized how out of um out of line that leaf is. Maybe because I needed to Okay, I definitely need to bring this leaf in. And then we'll get Color. Okay, let's see. Okay, give me something more like this. That would put it more in line. Okay, yeah, much better. I need to fix the shape of these teeth. Okay, that should be fine. Soy the silk. I should move this log underneath everything. Maybe above the skin layers. But under the pink layer. Just fix it up. Some of these uh, holes. I think I like the end a little rough. 
we'll just come in here and make sure the top part is uh, straight. We'll do the same with the bottom part. hole right here I need to fix. Let's come down to the white section because I think that part of his belly would still be white. Otherwise I think that was pretty much the other gap. So now we can begin with our line details. So come up to the original line art and make it just barely visible. And I can turn this on. I do see there's a bit of pink up here that I need to correct just by adding a little more. Let me lower my brush size. within the same color and I need to change my brush I just realized I was on the wrong one I was wondering why it was so chunky That should be good for those. We'll go to merge them down. Same over here. Just a line where the color is the same and touching. I think that's the only one on there. Come back and erase that tooth later on. I believe I'm going to go back and look. Welcome to the Rattober folder. Okay, yes, I did give yesterday's log light line effects. So let's come in here. It was this one here.
merge those. And then we'll get the details on our pinks. you thank you for stopping by oh my god rats i am a rat technically you're an electric rat which is the best form of rat let me give you since you're here and this is your first time stopping by and we appreciate it so much i'm gonna give you a nice uh shout out let's get a nice clip all up in here Welcome in. Thank you for stopping by the atrium today. How generous. Some people, they're just so ungrateful. I mean, you gave them a rat waste sandwich and everything. And free sewer water. Quite the steal. Welcome in. This is Rattober. Day 16. I have done 16 Rattober pictures so far. <laughs> The prompt today is kissing rats. I'm just getting in my line details. I'm bad at hands on people and rats. Yes. They're very much in love. So since this is your first time uh, stopping in, I think I'll just give you a preview of the Rattober pieces I have done from the beginning because they're all the same characters. <laughs> so this is what I started out with. Clover is like our main character, I guess. And the month of Rattober is just kind of following her story and shenanigans. So this is her helping an old lady carry her groceries uh, back to her house. And this is the introduction of the romantic interest. Uh, that one was Toothy Rat that day. So he's a member of the Rat Vanguard that just has particularly long teeth. And uh, Miss Basil's doing her, uh, you know, her typical lady stick and trying to hook them up. The whole story of rats? Yes. <laughs> um, it's thanks for helping with the groceries. The hey cryptic, welcome by. I'm just going through my old red tober pictures real quick. Uh, this was day three. It was a fusion day, so I did a jackalope rat. And a jackalope itself is a fusion of a, a deer and a rabbit, so triple fusion. Uh, Miss Basil, the old lady, lives very high up on a cliff, so Clover had to carry her on her back <laughs> to get her home. Uh, but then they had a nice visit with uh, Miss Basil's spouse, a nice bearded rat. Uh, on the way down, there were some troubles with the local centipede, but the vanguard was there. And uh, they have some neat uh, flying instruments that they carry around when they're on cliffside expeditions. So he was able to save Clover. And while he was saving Clover, the old rat, Miss Valeria, took out the centipede. And then Miss Valeria has quite the collection of centipede and ant heads. <laughs> that, that one was hoarding rat. That was that day. 
Um, and then this one was Champion Rat, so Clover's a very good runner and can even outrun most of the Vanguard. And then this is Clover babysitting her triplet young siblings. And they're taking a nap. The best kind of babysitting. Uh, here Clover's watching the triplets while her mom is harvesting flowers during the harvest season. This one was Sailing Rat, and the next one was Tabby Rat, so they're the same character. And it's the maybe love interest of Clover's mother, maybe father of the Pinkies, no one's sure, but you know, it's kind of obvious. And then yesterday was Stretchy Rat, so here he is getting an apple for Clover while she's braiding rope. And then here we are today, where she's giving him a nice little kiss. As thank you for the snack and being so kind. Uh, you're very talented. Oh, thank you. Um, I've been getting better. <laughs> that's that's the best I can do. So thank you for Cryptic for stopping by. I'm also gonna give you a nice shout out. Cryptic's a good friend of ours. All around funny character. And a uh, great streamer. I've been getting worse. <laughs> Yo, Blender Gang! Yes, Cryptic does a lot of uh, his work for his model in Blender and did a really great Halloween costume for it, too. Oh dear, an older clip of mine. Yep. No one is safe from my all-knowing gaze. I will find it all. As long as it's on your channel. <laughs> you know, I think I've been getting worse. Um, not in art, but in music making. It does take a lot of refined practice. I think these uh, arts. Oh, I forgot where I was. I'm not in my art piece anymore. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, I was doing the uh, pink details. Oh, now I just need to do their little rat tails. fix that. I don't like that shape. I can do better. There we go. It's a better shape. I went to get on to Blender's Life 2D this weekend and it just didn't happen. Nothing happened like it was supposed to. Probably not something I'll get to until November. I did not mean to make that a straight line. Let's erase back some of this excess pink. Songs. Sound like Mr. Krabs sometimes. Beep boop, beep beep boop, boop boop beep. 
I'll just get in here and erase it by hand. Wait, change my eraser real quick for it. to come fill in some places too. There we go. Oh, I need to finish doing the lines. I get distracted very easily when making art. Merge those down and then we'll get to the breast skirt. Whoops! Not mean to go so hard in that one spot. in here. Okay, let's see. This is the... Um, I think I gotta turn down this layer so I can see where the hilt of the sword is. Blender stuff, the only way I get things done is just spark some motivation. <laughs> yeah, I've had days like that where you just have to, you're suddenly motivated and you have to do everything because you're just too tired every other time. Okay. And get the outline here. Blender is exhausting though. Like it takes so much thought and brain power to model something. Especially when you start getting into the materials editor. Good lord, is that just all the brain power? Okay. I'm gonna turn this layer back up. He's down. And I'm going to add some detail lines. Madbutt! Hey! Welcome in! Uh, I love the rat art you've been posting. Well, thank you for coming by. Let me give you a shout out. This is my friend Madmutt. Go ahead and check them out. They're pre-debut, so they're not quite on Twitch yet, but they are very active on Twitter. And they're an artist, an all-around great person. I was procrastinating on the Halloween model until someone said phone and the entire model idea just popped into my head. Say, that's how inspiration works. You know, that's how it is sometimes. And it was a very well designed phone. Thank you, pal. Anytime. We support our friends here in the atrium. Let's get lines where the belt meets the hilt uh, or the uh, scabbard. And then we will... Why do I know the parts of a sword? That is such a random knowledge to have. <laughs> sword anatomy. Alright, let's get some details into the leaf. Not too much, because you can barely see it. Get the detail in this tooth area. 
And we're going to erase back just a little bit. And let's get this. Some days it's really hard for me to get motivated, but whenever it's hard for me to get motivated, I pull up my 80s playlist of like 200 songs that I found and um, just for 80 songs from all over the world. I've got some from France and some from Japan and some from Germany and a lot of it's from the US. This is because it's the easiest for me to find. But uh, that music really helps motivate me. I don't know if that's a thing for other people, but it is for me. All right, let's get Clover's Eye. There we go. And then we need to get the vine accompaniments. Unfortunately, I have to go to sleep since I have a lot to do tomorrow, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your stream. Best of luck uh, to you, and I love your rats. I will lurk while I sleep. We'll have sweet dreams about you, and I hope you get well rested. Thank you for stopping by. It's always appreciated. Let's get these put in. Um, and then let's also do Clover's headband. I think I need to change that shape a little. It's coming out from behind this ear. Um, but then it's also going back behind again. Not gonna lie, it looks a little wonk. That's the only way I know how to contour the shape based on what's actually happening there. Sometimes perspective do that. It just makes shapes wonk. Let's get her tendrils back here. And then the clovers in here. Uh, I'm going to change my brush up. Let me change to my one that's a little easier to color with for these. That clover is much too large. Do, do, do. This is another one of my favorites. Goodness. Let's get the accompaniments on the hilt. He's got like a little morning glory vine uh, cover here. Okay, and then I completely forgot the apple in every single step of this process. So let's get over there. Um, I'm actually going to go over to the other piece and grab the colors. Turn off the paper texture so I can get the true color. Because that paper texture sure makes things way darker. Make sure I'm on a new layer. And then we'll come in here and just paint out this apple. are because they'd be smoother and I'll leave the inside jaggedy because it helps look like they've been punching on it. 
Okay, and then let's get kind of a yellowish color, light yellowish color for the core. Let's get it nice and jaggedy. Just increase the size, we can color this in better. And let's uh, come back here and, whoops, with the freehand tool and we're going to select out where the yellow part of the apple is. It'd probably be most of this part down here. Feather it. Do saturation. And then we're going to make this yellow. Like so. And then let's um on a layer above it with a dark color. Make sure we deselect everything. Whoop. With a small size brush, we'll get in these seed uh, holes. How do the apple do? How do apple seeds do? I think that's too watermelon. I think, I think I'm right. I think these are apple seeds. Yeah. No. Okay. We'll we'll stick with the three. The three look fine. And then let's get a little bit of the stem in here. Kind of jag the edge for it was twirl, and then just fill this in. We'll erase a better shape there. Okay, let me turn off this and see if there's anywhere. I need to change the position of the apple core to lean a little better. Like so. Let me come here. Gonna erase out this bottom part here. All right, and now I think we're ready to begin with the lighting. I'm going to delete my uh, line layer because I don't need it anymore. And let's come in here, get shadowing under where they're sitting. Uh, let me also a little bit under this apple core. Feather it out. Darken it. And then in this darkness layer we're going to select around their faces. Feather it out. And we're going to lighten it because eyes are naturally drawn to the lightest part of a composition. So if you want something to be the focal point, it's good to have that be um, in a little bit of a lighter uh, space. That way people are naturally drawn to it. Let's see, and they're in the twilight, so they're not going to have uh, highlights. So I think I'm just going to do shadow work where they would be darker. Okay. 
kind of these out, make sure, yeah, I'm on the right layer. What do you think here would be the darkest point? Okay, and then let's move over here. I do realize I have a hole there that I need to fix. I'll do that when I get over to the white section. But for now, we're in the grays. Pull these out. Darken them. And then yes, this leg would be the darkest point. I think we're gonna leave it. Uh, leave it like that. Okay. Now before I do my flaring. My lighting adjustments. I'm gonna cover this hole real quick. I know probably a lot of people aren't gonna notice it when it's that tiny, but I notice it. And if I notice it, then I will not unnotice it. I will notice it too much in my head all the time. So let's get the shading parts under their chins on this little bit of belly here. And whoop, copy pasted. Didn't mean to do that. Feather it out. Make it darker. And this part here is going to be just a little darker because it's underneath more stuff. And then I realized I need to erase back because this is his arm. Need to erase back this white part that was his chest. Okay, so now we're on to the log. The log's already pretty dark. But I think we can get some detail in it. Yeah, we can still get some detail in there. Around to the pinks, so we'll make the inside of the ears dark. Right where their skirts touch their tails. And here where Clover's tail overlaps. And then the undersides. I think I'm just going to do the corners here, this area right here, and make it a little darker. And then we'll move on to the grass skirt and do the same thing. Make sure I get under where the sword is on this side. And then I think right here, right here and here, and in this area would be darker. Should the apple core be behind? Let me group these. I did not mean to group the scabbard in. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think it needs to be behind. 
I'm very bad at organizing my Rattober pieces. Just get some squiggliness for these shadows. I think I'm also going to increase the saturation so it's like oxidizing. You know, like apples do when they're out too long. I think the seeds are fine. We won't mess with the seeds. We'll make the base of the stem a little darker. Okay, and now we can work on the scabbard. Let's get this in here. Make the bottom part darker. The bottom part of this strap over here and here where this strap goes under the arm. We'll just feather it a little. And then I think I'll come here where it's under the arm and make it a little darker. Okay, so we got the leaves. I'm just going to come in here and make this part and this part dark. Um, no lighting on the teeth. And then some lighting on the walnut. And bolt. Darkened. And then I'm going to come in here also do for the edge of the walnut, do the same thing. And that's the eyeball. Okay, here's the greenery. Let's change up some of this. I don't think I'll mess with Clover's Band. Maybe we'll get the scabbard and the helmet strap. Okay, let me take a look and see if I need to do anything else. Check for problems. And I think that's good. So that one will be Kissing Rat. Let me uh, get in here. Put my logo somewhere. I don't really know where's the best place to put art logos. Mine are just kind of randomly everywhere. But I think we're fine there. Let's take a moment to do a quick stretch and hydrate. I recommend everyone do it. Stretch with me. As stretchy as a Colombian can be, I guess. Okay, nice and hydrated. Nice and stretched. Let's do the next piece. So this one was Lonely Rat. Gonna move the logo up there and hide it. I've got the basic sketch down here. So let's go ahead and make the more detailed line work. This is kind of how I do all my sketch work whenever I'm finding positions and poses. I start out with a bunch of circles because it helps me figure out perspective and shapes a little better. It's just 
what helps me personally. So we'll lower this down. And make sure we're on the right line brush. On the right layer, I always overcheck my layers. And then we'll just start. We'll do kind of like whip the opposite of the shape from the kissing rat scene. Let me go back to this piece. I'm going to select everything real quick. Again, my brain thinks all over the place. It doesn't think linearly. I need to make sure this is properly aligned and centered. Now I can come back here. So this one is going to be uh, another member of the Rat Vanguard on patrol watching uh, Clover down there. And then we've got the uh, introduction of a suspicious arm because I've mapped out all my Rat Clover pieces up to like day 21. And since they all have a story, I'm making sure the groundwork is laid down for the next piece here. Always in all of them. Okay, so let's get to start in a place here. Get kind of the shape of the walnut. This is their walnut helmet. Now they have a bit of a different design. So theirs is going to have a little more uh, woven grass to it than the other two Vanguard members we've seen. We're just gonna kind of make this like wavy. I think I'll do another set of lines of it up here. So I'll get that up there. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer. They're also gonna have kind of a cape. I haven't decided what material the cape should be yet. Maybe I should do something like flower petals, like long flower petals or long leaves. Um, everything is kind of uh, uh, flora and fauna on their on their uh, clothing designs. Wow, no linear thoughts whatsoever in this head of mine. I don't know, I can do like some like uh, long leaves like this. I don't know if I want to do flower petals. Does that have to be like, um, well, it could be sunflower. Those have pretty big petals. And I do like yellow and sunflowers. So maybe that's what we'll do. It'll be a, a sunflower cape. you're going to see as much of 
the grass skirt. So let's leave that for a moment and work on the can. And then the arm. Let's see. I want that under the cape probably. So let's go ahead and erase back the excess. And I'll go ahead and merge what I've got down. Because I'm okay with it. Okay, just want to make sure those are on separate layers still. And then let's get this spirit. Okay, let's get this moved into a better place. And then we'll erase away where that hole is under the hand. And I think it'll be in front. So we'll erase it where it's behind the ear. And then let's get an arrowhead of some form. I don't know what material it should be. We'll probably just make it stone. And then we'll have like the morning glory vine ties up here. Okay, I can merge these down. Let's see how I want to position the legs. I think this one's fine where it was just the heel. You can do that. And then they wouldn't see the foot behind that pedal. Get their foot here. Rat feet! Feet in general. Feet and hands are not my forte. I definitely need to do some more guided practice on that. Right, let's fix this up a little. that would be more accurate of a placement but also I need to fix this foot angle need to bring this down in line with the other the other foot I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and get the tail put in. I think I'll do a little curve and a little bit of a poke out from the shape. You would see it here too. Let's make sure that's put in. Okay, they're overlooking kind of this cliff. So let's get kind of a cliff shape. I'm gonna perspective warp this a little better. Yes, I think down here is a better place. Okay, 
And then we'll get just a bunch of vague forestry uh, for most of it. But then like down here in the distance we'll have... the log where Clover is sitting. And then they could just be silhouettes in the distance. So let's just get a general shape. So just kind of like that down there. Way out in the distance. The apple tree, I guess. That'd be pretty large compared to some rats. Do something like that. And then let's get a shadowy figure hand. This is going to be in silhouette, so the line work inside doesn't matter. Um, I don't like that round thing there. I like it. I prefer it pointy for what we're about to do with it later on. Okay. I need to come in here, race back this cliff from the main piece. So that have to be good. Just gotta get the general idea. And I think that's it for the lines. Let's get the color down now. So let's put down maybe just a pretty large green color for now in this general area. And if it's going to be nighttime, I need to darken this. So let's get this down right now. And then let's darken. I think about there is fine. Now let's make this like a sandy colored cliff. And I'll also darken that. I don't know what color I want the rat's coat to be. I've done a lot of gray rats and a lot of brown rats. And the only true white one that I've done has been the Rattalo. So I think I'll come back in here and we'll just make this one white. Let's get the pinks put down. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the size of my brush. Okay, and then let's get like a sunflower yellow. Let's see how this does on the... Yeah, there we go. That's perfect on the paper. 
just checking to make sure I'm on a different layer. And I forgot to get the tail color. So let's get back down here and put this in. And then we'll get the brass headpiece painted in. And then the walnuts color. And then I think we'll go ahead and keep all the weapons the same color. So let's go ahead and make this head a stone gray. That's actually a little dark. Let's choose a lighter gray. I think that's better. And then let's get the dark blackish color down for our silhouettes. I'm gonna lower this size. We'll just make those silhouettes in the distance. Okay, I think I can start with my refining of the colors. I think this is um, all the colors that I'll need to put down for now. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll just put it down in this color too. So that needs to be like behind. And not on the silhouette layer. Behind like everything. And then I'll use my foliage brush to fill in the space layer. For now base colors. I'll just turn on the color, the paper, and the line. Make sure I've got the appropriate eraser selected. And we'll start cutting out our shape. Let me increase the size too. accidentally switched to my brush. The reason it keeps changing, there's a feature on the Apple Pencil that if you double tap one of the sides, uh, it switches between the brush and the eraser. And I keep fooling myself into thinking, I'll use it. You know, I'll use the double tap feature someday, but then I never do and I just keep accidentally swapping between the two tools when I don't intend to. Probably something I need to turn off. selection tool. Invert and clear away all the excess. Thank you. 
this place that I've gotten much faster because of Rattober. At least much faster at painting rats. Because the first Rattober stream I did, it took me two and a half hours to just do a painting of a piece I already had line work down for. I was already able to accomplish one piece today. Working on tomorrow's. Just getting a little ahead of schedule. I'm also going to darken this layer because it's nighttime now and I originally painted that tree during the daytime. So we'll get it nice and dark. And then I'm, I'm thinking, should I put some sky tone or should it all be green? Uh, we'll leave it like this. We'll leave it like this. If it's not Baroque. Okay, let's get it. And erase the fur shape in. Make sure we're not erasing away any of the main part of the arm there. And the leg. I think we'll leave a little here just in case I decide that puts a little too big in that area. jacket edges on the pink because it helps give the look of fur changing to skin. Exercise to get in here and do some detail work. Uh, before I do that, let me turn off my paper color, grab this color, and put a smaller brush size paint in that space there where this space here where there's just a little hole. 
Okay. Lower our eraser brush. And we'll get in here. Get these petals cleaned up. Get the woven grass. And up. And then we'll get the walnut. There's some space there that I need to fill in. Since we made the tree darker, it's pretty much the color of the walnut. So let's make the walnut color darker too. To give it some differentiation and to match the tone better. Make sure all these shapes are cut out nicely. And then now the hole. I tend to work on a wonk. Does anyone else tend to work at just the wonkiest angle? Just what feels good on my wrist. So way here, where would it be behind the ear? Okay. I'm going to have to turn this color way down so I can see my line work through it.
let me turn this back up to make sure we've got a proper shape going. to come back to this layer. Let me go ahead and turn off my paper layer so I can get the right color. Uh, we need to do some patchwork here. Just, just a little patchwork. Same thing with this tree up here. Just need to do a little work to it. Okay, and I think I'm going to work on the foliage aspect first. So I made this foliage brush that's just kind of like a stamp of a uh, gauche brush. So let me get my dark green. And let me see if the size is where it needs to be. It's too small as it is. So let's do this. And then we'll decrease the brush size. Then we'll do it again. be a clearing here because clover was working in a field then we'll get foliage for the apple tree okay I'm gonna darken this Uh, let me turn off my paper layer real quick and try to grab this darker color and then fix up some places. Let's erase back um, with a different eraser. Make sure they were working in their clearing. This is kind of the apple trees, so we just fix that up a little. Okay, I'm gonna erase back these. And then I'm gonna get a layer above it. We're gonna go even darker. Pretty small foliage brush size and get some shading patterns going on in these uh, wooded areas. Kind of the undersides.
Okay, I'm just gonna go back and erase where they're over a bit. Let me come in here and add some to the apple tree. Gonna zoom out so I can look at that. Put it like a thumbnail size. Okay. Oh, no, I wanted that there. Thank you. I think I am going to do some highlights, but let's super unsaturate it so it's kind of like moonlight. Let's see how that looks real quick on everything. Okay, that'll be fine. And then I could turn down the opacity to what I need it to be if it's too bright. I'm just making sure I'm on a different layer than the shadows. And we're just going to go in here and add some highlight places. Yeah, that's looking uh, proper uh, uh, communicator error. Looking at very arboreal. At least I think. Let's uh, let's keep going. Zoom out again. Yes, that's looking fine. Let me play around with the, the brightness of this layer. Because it is nighttime. I think about 65 is a good one. So let's merge these down and I'll leave them on their own layer separate from the background. That way we can do some neat shading to it. And now that I've got the foliage situation sorted out, I think we can go ahead and begin the lighting. But first, it has been like two hours. I'm going to do a stretch. Nice long stretch. I gotta hydrate. There we go. We're all taken care of. Let's go ahead and switch our selection tool to freehand. And uh, I'm going to select underneath all these tree-like places. I'm going to feather it out. I'm going to darken it. See, look how much better that got. Okay, let's also I'm going to come through, select around our main focuses, feather them out, lighten them, 
so that the eye is drawn to it. Okay, so now this is the foliage, and since I painted it with the the lighting in mind, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to come here to the ground layer. Select underneath the cape here. Maybe a line where this uh, hole is. Dark in it. Maybe not that dark. This is the tree. I think I'm gonna go back to my foliage layer. I'm gonna have to reselect things. Make sure I'm still in the foliage brush. I'm gonna have to paint some foliage in front. So we need to add a new layer actually. It'll be in front of these branches. Then we'll get our mid layer. And our light layer. Let me see how that looks. I actually like it without it. I know it's not anatomically correct, but it's what I like. And then we'll just come in here to the leg section. And feather out. And then I think I will do a second lighting or a second shadowing, I mean. Um I think just there. I need to come here and feather it out. Make it dark. Okay, now we're in the pink layer. Get a little bit of where this hand in this cape is, in the underside. Open those, and then darken more where this cape is. For this one, I'm going to turn down the sketch layer quite significantly because this one's going to need a little more focus. So we need to have shadow underneath these petals here, kind of along the edge of this petal. Along the edge of this one. All of the petals underneath this part of the cape here. And then underneath the parts where there would be shadow due to the shape. all these out and we'll darken them and then let's come in here and make the darkest point so definitely here maybe just the edge here Okay, 
And then the uh, grass headpiece. It'll be darker here than along the edges here, I think. Feathers out a little so there's no harsh line. This part here under the helmet needs to be changed as well. I don't know why that song cuts off like that. Like if I play it and the player go to the end physically, it will play it through properly. But if I leave it on autoplay and it goes through to play it, it chops off like the last 10 seconds for some reason. Okay, so now we're on to the lining of the walnut. We'll get it here where it dips. I could have sworn I erased away that section of the pole. We'll go in and fix it. No, not invert. No, not copy paste. Feather. Gherkin. Okay, eraser tool, I need you. There we go. And I forgot to do my freaking line work before I started the lighting. Oh, that hurts. All right, how far back do I gotta go? How much work am I raising? I need to know. So much work. Like half the work, really. Okay. That hurts. I'll get over myself. Let's get a darker color of this cliff. Get a brush that I can work with for the lines. Or does the cliff have you think? Maybe I'll leave that one lineless. I do need to come up here and add the texture to this tree though. I need to bring some branches out. these down. I don't need any green lines, but I do need my pink line work. Let me come back here and erase this again. Lower the size and try this again.
let me come erase this spear handle a little more. There we go. did that completely on the wrong layer. I get to undo all that again. Oh, I am not focusing at all today. My brains have a problem processing everything. come under here in this pink layer and kind of fix where the color and the line work aren't matching up. Let me switch my brushes. here. Nothing it looks like. Let's get rid of it. A, get a dark yellow color. And I'll just do the places where they touch and the little accent lines. went too far with that one. Let's get the original yellow and fill in up here where there's the gap. to switch brushes. I also need to do lines like this. There we go. Then we'll do the edges.
There we go. Merge these down. Get the walnut accent line. I think our stone's fine if we leave it unlined. So let's get in our line effect here. Our morning glory. Let me come down here to the whites as well and erase a little bit in this hand. Go stick it out for the pink a little. Let me turn off my line work and make sure I'm not missing anything. We're good. I'm going to delete the line work all together. And now we're going to repeat all the work that I lost. <laughs> okay, so again, up in these tree lines. Pretty feathered out. Darkness. And then the focal areas will be brighter. Okay, then we'll come here to the ground and, and get underneath. I forgot. Last time I also did a little bit for this pole here. We'll actually put it at an angle. I forgot to feather it. So we're gonna undo that. Feather it out. Work in it. I'm debating. Should I? Should I do some light lines on that silhouette to indicate the hand a bit better? Or me just leave it like that? I'll think about it. Let's get the shading on this tree here. body shading again. And then the darkest part of the shading again. And now we can do the pinks. He's holding it in his hand, under here, here and here, and here. The darkest of the colors. Okay, now 
We're into the pedal territory again. Same as last time. Kind of where they're overlapping. Under here. And then like kind of on their edges. Where their shadowing would be. this out. Working it. And then we'll get the darkest of the areas. Which I think would be under here. Maybe a little here. Okay, on to the grass cow. We'll do here in the middle, here underneath the hat, here where the corners bend a little. Darken it. And then this space underneath the helmet and these corners I think would be darker. Okay, the walnut, darker under here, and then we'll try to just get a general selection on this side, feather things out, Jexoy's rating! Hello everyone! Welcome to the channel, thank you Jexoy. Let me finish darkening this real quick. Welcome to the channel. Nice to see you guys. Hello everyone. Let me get a shout out to my friend. My friend Jack Soy was making some spooky bad creepy pastas today. Welcome in. Thank you for stopping by. Let me give you a proper shout out. It's always nice to have you here. Let's see. Let's see if it's another Yoshi clip. Long ago in a distant land, I, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. <laughs> but a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. Oh, look. These face friends. The final blow was oh, thank you, Kixie, for following. Welcome to the atrium. And flung them into the future, where my evil is law. Now the four seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is our cool. Why are you so good at that? <laughs> <laughs> I say that with uh, Donkey Kong music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> You're super good at that, by the way. Did you say that from memory or did you have a script for it? <laughs> Why is that like phrase forever ingrained in my memory? You remember when openings told you what the story was about before the show actually started? Those were the days of Samurai Jack. Hello everyone. For those of you new here, I'm Olo the Globian. I'm here on Earth studying earth culture to art music and gaming in today's art we're doing rats for rattober i finished today's piece which was kissing rats and now we're on to tomorrow's piece which is lonely rat and so we've got a lonely vanguard rat out here on a cliff and a spooky mysterious figure fixing to attack him for tomorrow's piece as well so thank you everyone these are for beans rattober just enjoying some good rats. By the way, check out the link I sent. A raid gift. 
I don't know how to do that. I've never gotten gifts. Okay, let me check. I'll check. <laughs> I'll try. I'm such a lucky girl. I got all these friends. Okay, let me see. These friends that are so nice to me, even though I'm kind of a family brain. I think I need to go to stream manager, probably. That's probably the thing, right? I don't tend to keep my browser open because I don't want scuffy streams. Oh, Frydenham, thank you for following me too. I heard the alert, but I wasn't uh, getting a list for some reason. My uh, mobile manager on my other device wasn't updating. So uh, thank you so much for joining us and becoming a space friend here in the atrium. Uh, my stream was all over the place. Yeah, but you had fun, right? How did your creepy pasta go? Who was the villain after all? Let me turn my music back on. Here's the link again. Oh, wait. I forgot you have things blocked. Oh no, do I? Is is the bot yelling at you? Is that what's going on? Hold on. Nightbot, stop being such a... Such an uptight bot. Hold on, I can grant you access. Fan protection. Okay, you've got like 20 seconds. Please everyone be respectful of Jigsoy and his beautiful link. Well, I'm waiting on that to come through. Let me figure out where I was here. I need to do the lighting on this arrowhead. That's what I need to do. It didn't go up? Nope. And I'm not showing you block anything. I'm not showing, um... I'm not seeing it anywhere. You know where it's supposed to show up? Because... Then I could, uh locate it a little better. If it's going to be in chat, I don't have anything that's blocking it. On the screen it shows, oh, dot dot dot? It's in the chat. Okay, hold on. I don't know why it's doing that. you it's something that Twitch is doing. Usually there's a thing where I can unblock it. Okay, give me a second to figure it out, Chicksoy, but welcome in everyone. Thank you for the gift. Why for two do this to me? Always when my friends are here. Always wants to beat me up. I'll send it via Discord DM. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be much better. I'm gonna have to do some research. I don't know why my Twitch is so uptight everywhere I go. Discord.
sent, and I got the message that you did send it to me. Let me open it up. So excited. My first friend gift! Well, aside from the one you already gave me, which was the doodle of me, that one was pretty awesome. What don't you want to do? Okay. Let me do it. Here. Oh my goodness! It's an MS Doodle Olo! It's so cute! <laughs> so did you guys move on to, um... To a, uh... A painting program after the spoopiness. Let me see. I want to see if I can get this up on stream. This is definitely being saved. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, copy image. Unable to copy image. How dare you. Basically, I started off by playing Mario 64 spooky ROM hacks. Yep. And they were, uh, some of them were good. Was drawn on Mario Paint. That's remarkably well for Mario Paint. And I was such a bad gamer, I switched to writing a creepypasta. I don't think it was that you were a bad gamer. Some of the, like the last game, the Void game, that was a cheap shot. Oh, and then there's more. But wait, there's more. Pixie redeemed a 10k art redeem. Oh. So I drew on Psy. Neat. And then, oh, there's just keeps getting better. Call now, and we'll include a second uh, piece of content with your order. I got a stupid idea and decided to draw on Mario Paint. Was it really that stupid an idea? I'm gonna show you guys on my second screen. You can see me on the green screen! But you can also see this beautiful Olo art. I have never done Mario Paint in my life. I imagine it handles horribly. But I still look so cute, thank you. I appreciate getting fan arts so much. So I drew like the things where I was struggling to draw on it and somehow I started playing a fly swatting game and I kept uh, filling the entire screen. Oh no. Just all the things all at once. You did so much. I just realized I need to erase this back behind the helmet. Literally, today's stream was filled with insanity. You were filled with the spirit of Spamton! Okay, let's make this part darker. I think... I'll make a little line here, where it's darker, too. Let's see. This is the little piece of morning glory here.
Well, I'm sad that it was scuffy, but it sounds like you guys did a lot of great things. And I know I would have had fun if I had been able to stick around. I always have fun on your streams. Can I make this darker? Let's, let's experiment. Rip. Oh, I can. Okay. I don't want that, but thank you. That means I can get the part of this claw here and the shape here. We'll get under here. Feather it out a bit and darken it. Just like black as midnight. There we go. And then I think I'm going to... Oh, I'm just going to select this part. I need to do some warping to it to get it to line up with the edge of the painting. By the way, everyone who is still here, all this music was made by Olo. Yes, that is true. I made all the music you hear on the streams. I need to go back to my foliage layer and erase back some. You can see it sticking out in places. Let's see, when did I make this one? So this one was made earlier this year, around February. I was trying to make looping music to play in the backgrounds of videos and streams. And this was one of those looping songs I made. Okay, let me select all of the bits. And center it as best as I can. Okay, I need to fix up a part of the sunflower here. I think I'll just erase it back. But from a distance, that was a little distracting. And just taking a final look at the shapes and stuff. There is something back here I need to fix. Let's make this like cut off sooner. Best outro music too. You missed it. It was playing in the playlist earlier. But uh, now the whole list started again, because it's just shy of my three hour mark. Okay, I think with just erasing back a little bit of this tree, we'll have completed our second Rattober piece. Now I just gotta figure out where I want to stick the logo. Maybe I'll just put my face like somewhere over here in the trees. The ghost of Olo's future warning this poor rat. And he's just staring out going, what the hell is that? It's my fault. I distracted him from the threat. Maybe I'll flip it. The best part about my name is it's the same forwards and backwards. No, I won't flip it. I'll keep it the same. That makes my name a palindrome! Yay! I forgot the term for that. Yes, it's palindrome. <laughs> Which is funny because you think the name for something that is the same forwards and backwards 
would itself be a palindrome. That would be perfect, but it's not. So. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Unfortunately, Jexoa, you came in toward the end of my stream. <laughs> but I am glad you guys came in, and I am so happy for my art, my beautiful face. My beautiful Mario paint face. It's okay. I've got someone else we can go raid, I think. Let me pull it up. Let's see who I got around. Ooh, my friend Haruchime is in Rune Factory 5. Let me go in. Let me just come here for a moment. Let me make sure that she herself is not going to end soon. I figured you were getting close to being done, but wanted to raid you anyway. Well, thank you for considering me. Uh, so we're going to go raid my friend Haruchime. Uh, she's a really great uh, gaming VTuber. Really funny and fun to hang around with. So that's it for today on my stream. Let me go ahead and get our raid call put in. Is that? Yes, that's the one I have it under. Okay. So you can copy this uh, chat and we'll go over and give her a good shout out. Sorry, Jexoi, no ending song today, but in the future, I promise. And you can find it up on anywhere that streams it. Just saying. I'll check out your album soon. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's go write some space friends. Start raid. <laughs> 